want to leave behind the legend that should never be forgotten. Never. Never. Because those guys laying on the ocean floors and in those foreign cemeteries, they're not there for nothing. The journey that began over two decades ago as a love affair between my uncle Zachary and his wife Elizabeth and the men and women of the United States Armed Forces. Enduring, courageous, resolute. That is Intrepid. Enduring. From the moment she was christened Intrepid, she was destined for greatness. She survived five kamikaze attacks and a direct torpedo hit during World War II. Courageous. 270 brave American souls gave their lives serving aboard her. Resolute. For more than 65 years, whenever called upon, she and her crew have answered. From the Cold War to the Race to the Moon to post 9-11, she has been there to serve. And while the majestic ship remains an icon of the American military, Intrepid has evolved into much more than that. It has become an idea. Once destined for scrap metal, she rose from the ashes to become a museum, a learning center, and a monument to heroes. All of this made possible by the generosity, vision, and deep-rooted patriotism of Zachary and Elizabeth Fisher and the entire Fisher family. Today, that tradition is carried on by Charles de Gunsberg and Richard Santulli, along with the Fisher family, Intrepid's distinguished board of trustees, and hundreds of thousands of Americans who support her. From inside the walls of Intrepid, efforts are being made to do more for our nation's military personnel, veterans, and their families. Nothing echoes that sentiment more strongly than the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, which follows in the footsteps of the Intrepid. You're completely numb for me. Like, there was no dropping to the floor, sobbing, screaming, like you might see on TV. For me, there wasn't any of that. It was, oh my God, what these people are saying, is this true? Like, what th these words are changing my entire life. Ben was a uh, Cobra helicopter pilot, and he was 110% dedicated to the Marine Corps. The hole that you feel is not gonna be filled by anything, anyone, any amount of money, anything. But the support that I received was what I think got me through. For the last 10 years, the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund has provided immeasurable support for wounded warriors, veterans, and their families. The fund also provided financial aid for the families of military personnel killed in service to our nation. At that time, the death gratuity was $6,000. Ben had signed off that he did not want life insurance, so they were able to present me with a check. But since that time, the Intrepid has also worked to change those laws. Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund provided $20 million in aid to families of those killed in action giving them much needed financial relief to transition through difficult times. You are not promised tomorrow, you're not. I mean, we had great plans. We were gonna grow old together and that was taken away from us in just an instant. I feel this intense heat blast at the left side and I knew I got hit. And it's funny people say, you, you know, your, your life flashes in front of you and all that. Hey, you know, people never believe that, but it actually does because I just thought of my son, I thought of my wife, the things we were supposed to do. I was gonna teach my boy how to play ball. You know, all these things were just crossing through my mind. And then I was, it must have just been instinct that I popped myself out of that LV. When I did, I was lit up from head to toe on fire. And I literally thought I was gonna die there. I was like, I'm never gonna see my wife and kid again. But when we got hit, my guys up on the hill were caught in a crossfire, so it was a plant ambush. The Center for the Intrepid which opened its doors in 2007, is the preeminent state of the world physical rehabilitation center for military amputees and burn patients. Championed by Arnold Fisher and Richard Santulli, with the extraordinary support of the Board of Trustees, CFI was funded by private donations from over 600,000 Americans. As you can feel the camaraderie and the coordination between everybody that's here. It's a palpable feeling just when you walk into the building, even before you see what's going on in the rehab areas. We have some equipment here that is truly unique. The Karen system is the most advanced one in the world, and not to mention the Flowrider, which is somewhat of a unique 
piece of equipment to have at a rehab facility, but it really lends itself well to the hobbies and the interests of our patient population. We have a whole floor that is dedicated to prosthetic fabrication where the prosthetists work directly with the patients in close proximity to the physical therapist so that there is direct communication. I don't know where else that exists. I had a 20% chance of living. Uh, you're gonna be stuck in the hospital for maybe another year. You may or may not walk again. And you're gonna be stuck on a respirator for the rest of your life. And when they told me that, I just, I thought of it. And I couldn't talk really because I had a trach in my throat. But they were able to read my lips. I kind of told them, you know, you can kiss my ass. I wasn't gonna be one of those dads that are just sitting, staring at the window, wondering why this happened to me. I'm also not gonna sit here and say, you know, I never had a bad day. You're gonna have a bad day. You know, you're talking to a guy that was 200 pounds, big old muscle head, to when I got out of the hospital, I was 115 pounds. And so I was just determined to get better and live on with life. I, I do a lot of what I do on my face is for my son. Right now he's six and, and he's very defensive, you know, over his dad. And I know how kids are. We were all kids. Kids can be cruel sometimes. And I just don't want him fighting defending his dad's honor. So so I'll go through those surgeries. I'll go I'll go through that pain. So so my son won't have to go through that pain. The work of the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund continues. The National Intrepid Center of Excellence, on the grounds of the Bethesda Naval Hospital, is nearing completion. The $60 million facility will specialize in the treatment of traumatic brain injury, once again using state-of-the-world technology. Thanks to the generous donations of thousands of Americans, the center will open in June. You can safely say that traumatic brain injury is clearly the signature injury of this war, no question about it. I think we've become more sensitive uh, to the existence of especially mild traumatic brain injury. Uh, and there clearly have been advances in um, field care and buddy care that have definitely saved lives and allowed people to live that may not have otherwise survived in previous wars. The Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund has fulfilled the same promise as its namesake, continuing the cycle of service. These are young kids, 19, 20, 20 year old kids uh, that are going out, putting their life on the line for you and me. Uh, so that we can maintain our way of life, the freedoms that we have in this country. And, and I think we owe it to them to give them the best possible care uh, that we would want for our own family members. I mean, I think that's just, that's the least we could do for these guys.